Okay, well, welcome everybody on behalf of Lou Rockwell and the Mises Institute to our 2024 Supporters Summit. And, uh, and of course, as you all know, the topic is our enemy, the state. And uh, hopefully we won't all end up in Guantanamo Bay at the end, at the end of this. <clears throat> I was carefully watching the weather yesterday, you know, the hurricane kind of passed off. And I was worried that if, uh, the, the Biden administration found out that we were here, that they would cause it to make a U-turn and come back to, <laughs> to uh, the Hilton at Island. And so, so, uh, so I have one of our interns posted on the beach to, to, uh, as a lookout for that so that we can make an, a good escape. Um, one of the highlights of this weekend is going to be our, our great new documentary. It's, uh, it's been in the works for a year. Uh, we had an older documentary that was made, uh, what, 20 years ago, Joe? 1995, yeah, a long time ago. And this is a, a big updated one, and the, and the biggest improvement is that I'm in it. And, and so uh, that's, the, that's something to look forward to. So we're going to bus everybody to, uh, to a theater. We rented a theater. We're going to go see the documentary in, in a real theater. And uh, you, know, you can bring your own raisinets if you want, or, or popcorn, and do that. And then at the end, we're going to get back in the buses, and we're all going to go all the way to Washington, D.C. and storm the Fed building in, in, in Washington, D.C. So that's, that's the plan for the weekend. So you're not going to be able to use your swimsuit that you brought with you. Uh, try to uh, familiarize yourself with our scholarship students sometime. Uh, I assume they're here. Can you stand up if you're a scholarship student? Talk to these young people. These are, these are all great young scholars, and they're going to carry forward our tradition of Austrian economics and Rothbardian political economy uh, in the future. And I'd like to thank our host committee, our very generous host committee, Brian Lee Biggs, Mitch Cantor, and Patricia Coronado, James Klatt, Klutz, Bernard and Joan Cother, James and Sandy Narduli. Thank you very much for our very generous donors and sponsors of, of, of this event. Uh, my, some of my personal heroes. Okay, our next, uh, next year, by the way, people are asking me, it's going to be in Delray Beach, Florida, at uh, the Opal Grand Hotel right on the beach. And uh, we wanted to go to South Florida. Uh, uh, for, for a number of reasons, and that, that's where we're going to be. I had nothing to, I used to live here, and uh, I, had nothing to, I had nothing to do with this, picking this place because I wasn't working at the Mises at the time. But um, this, I've told uh, Christy, this is my old hood here. So this is, uh, and, and uh, it, it turns out that Delray Beach is also my old hood. I lived five blocks from the hotel when uh, they, were, they were going to. So that's, that's next year. Okay. And so I'd like to, I'm going to introduce the first two speakers, and we'll get the show on the road. Our first speaker is our academic vice president, Joe Salerno, who received his PhD in economics from Rutgers University. He's a professor emeritus of economics at the uh, Lubin School of Business at Pace University in New York City. He's the editor of the Quarterly Journal of Austrian Economics, and, and, uh, and of course, he's the academic vice president. Uh, he's also my consigliere uh, 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 at the Mises Institute. Peter Klein could not qualify for that position because he's not a full Italian uh, like, like Joe is. <laughs> Jeff Herbener is our second speaker. He teaches economics at Grove City College. He's chairman of the economics department there. People ask me you know, if, if they want to send my child, I want to send my child to study economics. I tell them, send him to Grove City. That's where I tell him. He's the assistant editor of the Quarterly Journal of Economics also, and he'll be the second speaker. So uh, Joe Salerno, take it away. 